what is up guys welcome back in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can easily overclock the amd ryzen chips and in this particular case the 1600x after setting in the bi bios you can see that my memory is running at 3200 megahertz and the cpu is running at 4000 megahertz then if you want to change these numbers you can easily click on the advanced mode in which you can basically set up anything all the data that you want to change at ai tweaker you can change the settings of your memory and also the core ratio of your cpu here you can simply set the original factory clock from 36 to 40 and then change the CPU load line calibration to level 3. All the rest of the settings are on standard. I did not change anything. You can see here that there are other CPU configurations and all other settings, but I leave that on the factory BIOS settings, so did not change anything. Also, at, on the Vortis side, you will see that the CPU is running at 1.35 so 1.35 watts i try to run it a little bit lower like 1.3 1.32 1.33 but the system was not stable so i decided to leave it on 1.35 all the other voltages are on auto so it didn't necessary it wasn't necessary to change them and then the windows is ready to boot up just to see that what happened after leaving bios i opened amd's ryzen master application and also cpu z here you can see that all the six cores are running on four gigahertz and the cpu wattage is 1.35 watt and the CPU Z, it says that the current voltage is 1.34 and uh, the core speed is almost 4000 megahertz. Recording. And here you can see the famous Cinebench program to see the result uh, of the processor. Uh, previously, I run a test. Here you can see that the CPU reached uh, 1330 points. But now, because of the recording of the or recording of the pc uh, it, it will be a little bit less but let's see how it runs so you can see that the result is 1322 and just hit that run again to have another result just after it and cinebench runs without any issues so we can say that the overclocking was successful because the program did not uh freeze there was no issues but let's see a stress test in uh, ada 64 I have the trial version here and I'm going to uh, stress test only the CPU uh, for 10 minutes because I think it's enough because after like uh, 6 or 7 minutes the temperatures uh, uh, remain the same uh, it, it won't go higher so you will see that what is the Celsius that uh, we have with this Sky Mugen CPU cooler when our AMD Ryzen chip is running on 4 GHz. I'm just fast forwarding this to you to really see the results. And also by the end uh, you will see that the CPU Z is showing a, a little bit, uh, not just a little bit, but it's actually uh, in the terms of CPU, it's a lot, it's lot more than 1.35 watt what i set in the bias it's 1.38 
37, sometimes, sometimes 39, so I don't really know if I really need to, you know, calculate these numbers because the IMD master program showed that, okay, it's, uh, the voltage is 1.35, so we'll see, but with this overclocking, it's, it's, it was very basic, I just set, uh, you know, the standard 36 to 40 in the BIOS and voila, you have 4 gigahertz, but you need to keep in mind that, you know, it's like a silicon lottery, that each and every CPU is different, so it can be this uh, easy for me, but maybe for you, your chip is simply not capable of running at uh, 4 gigahertz, or it can run at 4 gigahertz, but you need to, uh, you know, give it more juice, more power. So it's it's very unique. Each and every CPU is unique, and it really depends on your luck. If we can see that, what kind of chip you can buy, you know, because yeah, it really is a lottery. And if you read all articles uh, on the internet, you will see that some people can reach uh, easily 4.1 or 4.2 gigahertz of speed, but I didn't really want it to go beyond this 4 gigahertz because, you know, this is just a, a couple of weeks old <laughs> computer and uh, I really just try to get used to it, you know, and, and also I'm learning the bias to see that uh, what changes uh, have what what kind of effects but maybe later uh, in a in another video I will show you that uh, what what is the memory clock that can be reached uh, with my CPU so so stay in tune definitely and also if you like the video give it a thumbs up and as always I'm uh, very interested to see your comments uh, under the video so please leave your opinion under the video and also don't uh, forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and please hit the notification bell uh, because YouTube has you know a totally different notification system now and also the algorithm is changing and everything so please make sure that the, that you're receiving the notifications when I'm uploading a new video and finally Thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned. Bye.